Missoula Marathon spectators cheer for every winner, whether they come from Polson, Corvallis, or Kenya, but they haven't celebrated a hometown win in the men's full race since 2010. Our Athlete of the Week hopes to change that this Sunday. Mark Mesmer has considered himself a competitive runner for as long as he can remember, but the former Sentinel Spartan and Montana Grizzly feels he is just now catching his stride. I feel like I never reached my potential in college, definitely not in high school, and it was always just the longer the race the better, and so moving up into the marathon was kind of just a natural progression for me. 5Ks in high school and 10Ks in college didn't fit his strengths, but the 25-year-old doesn't want to make it sound like 26.2 miles is easy. Everyone I've done at some point in the race, you think to yourself, why am I doing this? This is so painful. I'm never going to do it again. And then you finish and like 15 to 20 minutes later, you're like, that was awesome. When's the next one? He won the Governor's Cup last year in two hours and 33 minutes and set a course record in the half marathon at the Helena race last month. He chose the shorter distance to stay fresh for the race he really wants. Mesmer took fourth in 2016 and second last year in the Missoula Marathon. And the hometown product noticed he has become a fan favorite while running near the front. I hear a lot more go marks or, you know, whatever than they do, which is awesome because, I mean, 26 miles is a long ways to go no matter how many times you do it. Mesmer knows it will be painful and difficult to reach his goal on Sunday, but he has dreamed of a possible victorious scene in downtown Missoula. I've always kind of been obsessed with the banner that you run through, and I want that. I know they give that to the winner, and so that's something that, like, since I'm a little kid, I've thought about. You can see if Mesmer crosses the line first live on Sunday morning. We will have all of the Missoula Marathon covered. Check it out at 8 o'clock on CW Montana and a live stream all morning on kpax.com.